Let's talk a little bit about the sacroiliac joint. What is the sacroiliac joint? A very common source of poor performance. By the way, what, what are the signs of sacroiliac joint? Bunny hopping, slight weakness behind, just a horse not doing right. The trainer tells you, ah, I just don't, don't feel an obvious lameness, but there's definitely something going on behind. Then we go and we start investigating. We press on the SI, we press on the back, we press on multiple muscles around here, and this horse is very painful. Usually, it's a sacroiliac joint. What does that mean? Well, it means that the joint that connects the sacrum right here with the ilium. This is the pelvis. The whole thing is the pelvis, right? This is the sacrum, which is the last part of the vertebral column. We call it the sacrum and the ilium, hence sacroiliac. So a sacroiliac has a front part and has what we call a caudal part, the part that's behind. What we do is we, we can ultrasound this, we can do bone scan, we can do multiple things to diagnose the problem, but most of the time you hear your vet tell you, oh, let's inject the sacroiliac. If it doesn't get better, it probably wasn't there. And that is not wrong to do. That is actually a very common approach because it's so difficult to get a real good imaging that a lot of us actually go with that approach. Perfectly fine, perfectly acceptable. We go from the front, we inject between the sacrum and the ilium. We go from the back, we inject two pouches. Always, please make sure that it's being done with the ultrasound. Always with the ultrasound, because if you do it with the ultrasound, always get in the right spot. 100% in the right spot. All right, so that's a little bit on sacroiliac joint injection. Give me a call if you have any questions. Give us a call, 352-307-3690. 352-307-3690. We can talk a lot more if you suspect your horse is having sacroiliac joint pain.